There is certainly no shortage of NFED half-wave antennas on the market, and that's a good thing. While the operational concept of these antennas are similar from brand to brand, the mechanical operation really separates them, that is, in the deployment and recovery and storage. As form follows function, you can pick an antenna that best fits your operational style. Which brings us to the spool antenna by KO4HUI. The spool antenna is a compact 40 through 10 meter NFED half-wave antenna specifically designed for portable radio operations like parks on the air and summits on the air. The innovative part of this antenna is the unique spool form factor for efficient deployment, teardown, and storage. And as the manufacturer states, frustration-free operating experience that doesn't compromise performance. So what makes this antenna different? The spool antenna is built on the platform of an in integrated spool for the radiating wire storage. To deploy the antenna, you stick a screwdriver pencil or a tent stake into the hole in the center of the spool. You then uh, pull the wire out of the spool. To recover this antenna, you again use the stake or similar object and the integrated winding knob to reel the wire back in. Unlike other antennas, where the wire is exposed on the H-shaped wire winders, with this antenna, the wire is protected on the spool. Inside the center of the spool is a 49 to 1 transformer that provides the proper impedance match. The spool antenna is rated for 100 watt sideband and 50 watt CW in digital operation. Now in full disclosure, Spool Tenna did send me one of their NFED half-wave antennas for this video. While we don't have a working relationship, I am part of their affiliate program. My comments and experience with this are my own without any outside influence. The Spool Tenna is a compact NFED half-wave antenna that operates on the 40, 20, 15, and 10 meter bands without a tuner and is operable on 30, 17, and 12 meters with the full range tuner. The antenna is 4 and 3 quarters inches in diameter, 1 inch thick, and weighs about 12 ounces. When you purchase the antenna, you will receive the Spool Tenna unit itself, which is fully assembled, the owner's manual, and a field test report for that individual antenna. Optionally, you can also purchase 25 feet of RG316 cable with an integrated common mode choke. The antenna's frame is a spool constructed out of sturdy printed circuit board material. 60 feet of silicone insulated 20 gauge wire is wound onto the spool with an adequate amount of wire twisted back at the end of the antenna for fine tuning adjustments. When the wire is unwound from the spool, you can connect it via a 4 mm banana plug to the internal transformer. Protected inside the spool is a 49 to 1 transformer with an auto transformer winding. This style of winding tends to give you a little better performance when paired with the slightly thicker ferrite brand Toroid. The antenna's RF connection is a right angle B and C female. Other key features of the antenna include a 6 mm center hole for quick deployment using a screwdriver or tent stake as an axle. There is a winding knob for easy setup and teardown, finger holes on the back for easy grip, and plenty of mounting holes on the face and backside for rigging and mounting the antenna. So how does the spool antenna perform? Let's put it on the air and find out. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air, QRZ. Uh, Kilo Charlie 3, Delta Sierra Oscar, park the park. Kilo Charlie 3, Delta Sierra Oscar, nice 5-5 five, five into Wisconsin, US 12081, back to you. Roger, 
Roger, Roger. You're 5757 Eastern PA in the park 1356, 1356. Roger. Roger, the 1356 in Pennsylvania. Thanks a lot for the park today. 7-3, my friend. Good luck. 7-3, <laughs> take it easy. Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. QRZ. Uh, Whiskey Hotel, 6 Echo Yankee. Is that Whiskey Hotel 6 Echo Yankee? Um, at your peak, you're a 5-1. At your peak, you're a 5-1 into Wisconsin, U.S. 12081. Back to you. All right, yep, uh, Roger the 3-3. Three, three. Yeah, static on this side, too. A band is not in the best condition today. Back to you. All right, hey, well, thanks a lot for the contact. You have a great day, 7-3. Kilo Romeo 4, India. Kilo Romeo 4, India, nice. 5-7 uh, into Wisconsin, U.S. 12081, back to you. No, oh, thanks. You're 5-5 five and five here. I got a lot of noise, a lot of noise on my end. I'm not sure if it's uh, across the band or not, but uh, or across the, the uh, United States. But anyways, you're 5-5. Five and five. Thanks for the park. Roger the five five. Yeah, the noise. It, the noise is everywhere. <laughs> uh, I got lots of static, and people I've talked to reported the same. So not a good day. Back to you. All right, man. Well, good luck. I hope you get the uh, park activated. Seventy three K R four I. Roger that. We got her activated. So thanks for the contact. Seven three. All right. Good luck. Seven three. This is Kilo Bravo nine. Victor Bravo Romeo parks on the air. QRZ. November five. Tango park five five five. Kilo 8, India, Kilo Oscar. Kilo 8, India, Kilo Oscar, I got you. Nice, 5-7, uh, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081, back to you. QSL, 5-7, Ohio. Hey, thanks a lot for Ohio today. You have a great day and take it easy. 7-3, have fun. 7-3, this is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, parks on the air. QRZ. Alpha Foxtrot, zero, Foxtrot. Alpha Foxtrot, zero, Foxtrot, nice, 5-7, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081, back to you. QSL, I'll get you 5-5, five, five, Kilo Sierra, 55 Kansas this afternoon. All right, hey, thanks a lot for Kansas today. You have a great day, 7-3. 73, and thanks for your interview with uh, Greg the other day. Oh, hey, I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. All right, 73, good luck. 7-3, <laughs> this is Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the Air, QRZ. Kilo Bravo 9, Juliet Mike Uniform. Kilo Bravo 9, Kilo Bravo 9 Juliet uh, Mike Uniform, nice, 5-8 uh, Wisconsin, U.S. 12081, back to you. Oh, very good, Michael, thank you very much. I'll give you a strong 5-9, Central Indiana, good signal, couldn't get you on 20, but down here you're good and strong. Roger that, yeah, 20 is a hot mess, but um, 40 is actually not too bad. Uh, thanks a lot for the contact today. Roger, roger, enjoy your video, 73. <laughs> 73, take care, Kilo Bravo 9, Victor Bravo Romeo, Parks on the air, QRZ. Kilo Delta 9, Kilo Alpha Delta. So what do I think about the spool antenna, NFED half-wave antenna? These NFED antenna reviews are challenging because once you get them up into the air, the, an NFED half-wave pretty much all works the same. But one interesting thing to note with the spool antenna is that out of the box, the first time I deployed it, the SWR or impedance match for the 40 through 10 meter bands was spot on. No adjustments of the wire length was necessary for me. But I caution you that not everyone will have that same experience. And that's okay. The vagaries of ground conditions and the various parts of the country can have an effect on the antenna's performance. The manufacturer realizes that and provides a nice length of extra wire and an easy method for adjusting the antenna so you can get the perfect match for your situation. In testing the antenna in subpar band conditions, it worked very well. And I was a bit surprised that even with the turbulent nature of propagation, I was able to make contacts. This antenna is no slouch. The performance and antenna efficiency is there. But the big thing with this antenna is in the form factor. I know there are differing opinions on wire management. Some people prefer those H-style winders with the wire exposed on the outside, and others prefer to roll and unroll their wire. I'm not gonna say which one is better than the others as there are advantages to both. 
What I found is that unrolling the wire from my spool tenna was fast and easy and there were no kinks or twists on my wire. Winding things up is a different story. It takes a little bit of practice to hold the spool, the axle the spool sits on, and, the, and to guide and crank the wire back on. Now my hands aren't overly large, uh, nor are they small, but I imagine that if you have shorter fingers, this might be a bit of a challenge. But once you get this process mastered, all it takes is a little bit of practice, winding and unwinding the antenna becomes a piece of cake. What I really like about the spool antenna is the wire itself. Uh, the 20 gauge silicone insulated wire is supple and has the right amount of heft to be not too heavy nor light enough that it challenges deployment. I have a love-hate relationship with silicon wire. I love it because it never gets stiff or brittle in cold weather, but I hate it because it will pick up dust, dirt, and it tends to get caught on brush and brambles. Still for its shortcomings, I do prefer silicone wire in my portable antennas. The other innovative feature with the, the wire is that it disconnects from the unit by the way of a, a four millimeter banana plug. The good news is that you can easily replace the wire if it is damaged or broken, or you could even wind your own special wire links. Want a shorter 20 meter end fed half wave? Well, just make yourself a custom piece of wire and plug it in. The same is with the counterpoise. This unit does not come with a counterpoise. Now I know the necessity of a counterpoise is a bit controversial, but you can easily add one by connecting it to one of the four screws on the front of the spool. One last thing about this antenna that, that I find really cool is that this is an open source design. That means the design files are available for download and use according to the terms of the Creative Commons license. There isn't anything secret or proprietary hidden in this antenna. Now, final words. This is a fully constructed and fed half-wave antenna built onto a spool for convenient deployment and recovery. Fit and finish of this antenna are top-notch. It features a larger ferrite core with auto transformer wiring for better power handling and efficiency, and it has an easy to replace radiating wire. Of the NFED half-wave antennas on the market, I think this one is on the top end and in terms of quality and performance. Well, thanks for Bob over at Spool Antenna for supplying me this NFED half-wave antenna system for the review. This antenna is available direct from his website. Links are in the video description down below. Do you have any questions about the Spool Antenna NFED half-wave antenna? Well, leave them down in the comments. I'd, I'd love to hear your thoughts about this particular antenna system. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. You have a great day in 7.3.